Peace, guys. This is Queen Breezy here, and I'm back with another DIY. Before I start, now I gotta get the vibes right. So I got my incense burning, my burning some sage. Because every piece that you make, that you work with, absorbs your energy. So you wanna make sure that your energy is right. You're only putting positive vibes and <clears throat> good energies into your pieces I and mean, I cleanse any jewelry that I get but you know you want to be conscious of that when you're making pieces for other people so I always cleanse myself make sure okay so these are the tools that I use as you can see I have these nails which makes it a lot more difficult so um I always use this to cut the wire or the cord that I use. I use these to clamp down when I'm finishing off my um, bracelet or earrings. I use this for shaping or flattening out because it has a flat surface. So anything you need to clamp down, that's what it takes. Mm -hmm. I usually use these like with the earrings or anything that I need to shape like I'll usually twist around, twist a wire around this. This is my all time saving grace, my favorite tool. Um, this I use for picking up the beads, doesn't matter how small they are. Um, it's harder to pick up the bigger ones, so that's fine. And then when it comes to making bracelets or anklets, this is what usually comes with um, any kind of set that you will get. What I like about this is that it is strong. I'm just kind of afraid of you know, the durability over time. It is strong. I have two bracelets that I've made for myself, two that I've made for my wife, and you know, it's easy to slip on, slip off, no issues. Today I'm making an anklet. And I feel like with anklets, you're walking out all the time and you're most likely not going to take these off. So I need something that's a lot more durable. I use fishing line for stuff that I need to like really, really stay in place. Only difficult part is finishing. Um, these are kind of hard to stay in a knot. So you have to cinch them. You have to burn them up. All right, but we'll go through all of that today throughout the video. I'll make sure that I give you enough information and I'll follow with you step by step so you can make your own anklets as well. All right, let's get it. Welcome guys to Breezy's DIY. First, I'm gonna pick out my end pieces. Um, that's the clamp that I use to close the anklet. And these I'm gonna use for the centerpiece, the starfish. I always pick these out first along with my beads so I'm like nice and organized when we go through. And here, these are the silver beads that I use at each end. So this is great with the, f the fishing line because you can clamp these down, they won't break. You can clamp them down and the fish line won't move. Here we go, these are the white beads I use. And the shells, those are ornaments that I use inside the anklet as well. And that's gonna be the centerpiece. All right, let's get started. I use colors of Yamonja. If you don't know about her, that's one of the seven main Orisha. My wife is the daughter of Yamonja. So I use blue along with this um, kind of rainbowy color blue with coral and white because I didn't have any clear beads. But yes, this is an anklet for her. So I went through a, a regular designer process trying to figure out how I want the pattern to go. It took me a couple tries, but I was finally happy with this pattern right here. And that's what I went forward with. You can see there's different variations of blue in there. It kind of looks like a metallic, has like purple and green and blue. I use that to alternate between just the regular royal blue. Here I'm just going through, I found my rhythm. I got a pattern I'm happy with. So we just alternated with seven blue beads, a coral, then white, then coral. And then we used um, 
either a shell we alternate between the shell and the starfish still going with the rhythm please guys subscribe to jaiman journey tv this is our youtube channel i will drop a new breezy diy every sunday make sure you like comment share subscribe share the love support our people we'll do the same keep in touch so i'm wrapping up finally i'm putting the centerpiece together she loves that part <laughs> i gave it to her she's so happy so here i think is when i messed up and i pulled one end too hard and the beads came off the other end so i'm just fixing buttoning that up but yeah it was very very fun if you didn't see my last video with the nine stranded bracelet whew, it took forever i know you could probably see the progression of the day because it started out bright and towards the end of my video it got darker that's how long it took me to do it it's actually really it's not that hard it's just time consuming but here you see i've passed the halfway mark once you find a pattern really the rhythm is all up to you some people take breaks i like to just finish like I didn't even eat breakfast until I finished this. And here's a finished product. And I had a very, very happy recipient. And make sure you always cleanse your jewelry, whether you're receiving or sending off, you know. Um, this was just a little tidbit to show you how I wrapped it up because sometimes that can be the most annoying part of the process, trying to figure out how you can close it um, and make it something that's durable and something that you can keep for a long time thank you all for watching make sure you like subscribe peace